What's up, boys? Back at it again, not with a gaming commentary, but an unboxing. Today we have the E Blue Arosa X1. Came in this little box. It set me back about four fifty, but someone on eBay was selling it used, for four hundred dollars. It's not used, it's new, but yeah, getting my trusty butterfly knife out. Ooh, let's do that again, dude. Let's open this bad boy up. As you can see, I got the red chair, even though my gaming setup is blue, as you can see. But uh, yeah, this one has illuminated lights in the back. And I was looking for chairs, for office chairs for, for weeks. I believe like a week, a week and a half, a week. I was really gonna go for an office chair, but the dude at Staples really changed my mind about that. He was like, oh, uh, two of my coworkers here have gaming chairs and they would never buy like an office chair and then he was telling me that the uh the foam on the office chairs throughout time they kind of like push in and they stay like that so i was like okay let's just go for a gaming chair fuck it i'm just gonna spend about 400 bucks on it all right so here we have the actual arosa box that they repackaged into let's see if we can get this out all right Look at that. All right, I'm about to unbox this now. All right, let's see what we have here. Let's open this box up. All right, so here it looks like we have the, the base, the one that uh, goes under the seat, the one that adjusts, as you can see there. Cover for that. All right, it looks like here we have the wheels. Here's what we really need, the screws. Alright, so we have the, uh, what do you call this? The, uh, hydraulics, where the chair sits on top of this. Alright, so what is this? Wow, it actually came with a battery pack. The person that sold this to me told me that it did not come with a power bank. So it did come with a power bank. Looks like it's not charged though, so that's all right. We've got a uh, charger for the power bank right here. All right, so here we have, oh God, I'm so fucking excited. I'm sorry, dude. So here we have, oh God, oh God, dude, oh God. All right, here we have the God, or oh, you got the base. <laughs> we have the base right here. Feels very nice and soft leather or it doesn't feel like leather it feels like leather here we have the where the wheels go here we got another big box oh this is the back plate oh this is the arm rails look at that stainless steel on the bottom very soft actually and then for the final thing we have the oh my god bro We have the main part, which is the back part. Main reason why I bought this gaming chair instead of other gaming chairs like the DX Racer or any office chair was mainly because the back support is already pre-installed into it. You see that? And then the also the headrest. With all these other DX Racers and uh, what is that other one called? All these other ones, they give you a, a pillow for your backrest, your lower backrest, and your headrest. And that you would put on your chair. But this one's already come pre-built. I love that about this chair. And also, the first gaming chair with illuminated backlights. So here we got the instructions manual. So we're going to go ahead and build this first. And then we'll get back right to you. Alright guys, so we're done building the Arosa X1 chair, as you can see, it looks phenomenal. See that there? We're gonna mess with the uh, toy box, the, the the light changer thingy later on. But uh, yeah, um, instructions were fairly easy. It took me about maybe 15 to 20 minutes. One thing I do have to point out though, in the directions, 
on step number three right here this is supposed to be backwards so if you guys ever buy this chair this is going to be backwards that step was wrong other than that everything came good but yeah um i never sat on the chair yet uh i sat on it so first impressions uh <laughs> very very comfortable like okay it's not office chair comfortable where you could fall asleep, but I could definitely feel the lower back support. The pillow is nice and cushiony. Um, the resistance is a little too weak for me right now. And why you can go all the way back. And also, this is my old chair, guys. I've been having this chair for like three to four years now. It's still really good, no rips or anything, but there's no padding on here. Like, it's, it's a pretty good chair, but no. Fuck that, <laughs> fuck that. Boom, motherfucker. Yeah, this chair is good. It has adjustable um, side here. It's adjustable size. It goes 360 all around. See that? All around, 360. Just that for you guys. 360 all around. You got a lock me mechanism right here. You can lock it in the first position. Right there. If you push back on it and then unlock it, you can't go back. You need to unlock it, go forward, and then back again. So you could actually lock it all the way down here if you wanted to. Lock it, and it stays locked. So unlock it, push down a little bit, and then you can go back. Over here we have our height adjustment. I'm, uh, I'm about 5'9", five 5'8". Five and see that? Feet are not touching the floor. Go all the way down. Very good. Very comfy. Now. Let's play with this back thing right here. Um, right, I'm gonna use a power bank that I bought off eBay. This is not the original one, I still have to charge that. We have four functions. Mode one, when you're not on it, red lights are on. When you sit on it, the blue lights go on. Mode number two, when you're on it, the red lights glimmer. So it does this little uh, little crescendo effect and then decrescendo type of thing. And then when you sit on it, the blue lights turn on. Mode three, when no one is sitting on it, it glows red. And then when you sit on it, lights turn off. And then the opposite of that is mode four. When no one is on it, lights are blue. And then when someone is on it, the lights turn off completely. So let's try this here. First time turning this on, guys. Sorry if I scream. Woo! Look at that, dude. Look at that, bro. Don't I got the best chair in the world? So you can put the... Uh, power bank in there just like that so right now let's turn off all these lights guys so if you see red lights are on this is mode one right when i sit on it it has sensors right when i sit on it it's gonna turn blue all right let's go mode number two now once i get off lights are red we're gonna switch to mode number two now where it glimmers there's this crescendo decrescendo effect see just like that and then once i get it on Boom! It's glowing, right? Yeah. It's glowing in blue. See that, guys? All right, we'll go to mode number three now. Okay, mode number three. It actually glimmers. No, it doesn't. Never mind. Yes, it does. It glimmers, guys. It glimmers. And then right when I sit on it, it turns off. Last mode will be the blue. I have a blue setup myself. So if I were to put this my gaming setup with the blue lights looks something like that and for some reason it turned off it's probably the power bank this is a phone power bank so I'm probably just gonna have to keep on plugging and unplugging so yeah guys that's my setup right there with the chair looks super sweet so yeah guys that's the eBlue Arosa X1 this chair is a beast. Ugh. I'm not even paid by them to say anything, say anything good, but I would probably give them a probably a nine and a half out of 10. This chair's really comfortable. And uh, I'll update you guys on how the chair has been keeping up through the months. And uh, thank you guys, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel, watch my other freaking videos. And um, yeah guys, thank you.